Hello, Professor Willard. I'm Cynthia, a student in pure mathematics and mathematical physics, and I'm currently in my 3A term. Today, I have a few questions for you about pure math. But before that, would you like to give a little introduction about yourself? Sure. Um, it's good to see you again, Cynthia. My name is Ross Willard. I'm a professor in the pure math department. I'm also the advisor for pure mathematics and uh, mathematical finance. So first of all, can you describe what pure mathematics is about? Sure. Um, pure math is, I would say, uh, very theoretical mathematics. It's, it's mathematics studied for its own sake. Um, and its aim is basically complete, uh, ultimate understanding of uh, the foundational parts of mathematics like the real number continuum or prime numbers and their distributions, um, alternate universes for geometry, that kind of thing. Um, and, and lastly, I would characterize pure math as something that is just fantastically beautiful. It is yeah. um, uh, in, in the theories, uh, in the objects that it, it analyzes. Um, and so more than anything, it is uh, its beauty and its abstraction and its um, uh, the, the theory of everything that it studies that characterizes pure math. Having said that, it's also the foundation for lots of modern technologies and um, you know, forms the basis for more applied theories in, in other areas. But pure math itself is, is, is pure, you know, <laughs> uh, theory for its own sake. Thank you. Uh, so what do you wish students would know before choosing pure math as a major? Okay, good question. First of all, all students who are thinking of doing pure math should know that um, pure mathematics courses are very heavily proof-based. Um, that maybe characterizes them more than anything else. And so if you do not like proofs or if you're not very good at proofs, then you probably do not want to major in pure mathematics. Because if you do pure math, you're going to be doing proofs. <laughs> um, and the major level uh, pure math courses are also very challenging, very abstract, typically. Uh, and, and so uh, some students are, are just blown away that they're just way too abstract, not sufficiently concrete. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing abstract thinking, then probably pure math is not the right program for you. So those are maybe negative things, although I think students who are in the program would see them as positive things, right? But yeah. in, in any case, those are two things I want students to know. Another thing is that, uh, and this would be a positive, is that um, the pure math program is actually quite flexible. Uh, it only has nine required pure math courses in the, the plan. And so that leaves students lots of space to take other courses, and and many do. Um, the majority of pure math majors are actually double majors, uh, like you, Cynthia. Um, and uh, so that, that's quite typical. Um, those, those are the things I think I most want students to know, that it's very heavily proof-based, very challenging um, intellectually, um, but it's quite flexible. What do you love about pure math? What it's, uh, what's exciting about this field? Uh, <laughs> what's not exciting about it? No, no uh, let me be serious. Uh, pure math is just so beautiful. The uh, theories, the structures that it studies are, are fantastic. And let me give an example. I can still remember uh, back when I was a graduate student and I learned uh, Euler's proof that the infinite sum of the reciprocals of the prime numbers, that's one half plus one third plus one fifth plus one seventh plus one eleventh plus dot dot dot, that, that infinite sum, it diverges to infinity. And that, that theorem gives a, a very strong proof of the uh, fact that there are infinitely many prime numbers, but it also proves more than that. It gives something about the distribution of prime numbers and their density. Anyway, the proof itself is what is beautiful. It, you start with uh, the Riemann zeta function, 
on the complex numbers and you analyze uh, its singularity, its, its pole at the uh, complex numbers that equal to one. And uh, by applying the tools of complex analysis to studying the geometry of that pole, you, you end up getting this theorem about prime numbers. It's just crazy. It's so fantastically beautiful. Um, and that's what I, that, what, what I love about all of the parts of pure math is how awesomely mind-blowing and beautiful the theories are. Um, and what types of careers can be pursued with a pure math major? Good question. Um, I received this question many times. Um, and I would say that pure math majors have access to pretty much all the same jobs that other math students at Waterloo have. I certainly see that um, in co-op placements, um, pure math majors are applying for and getting pretty much the same jobs that almost all other math students are applying for. That's a bit of a non-answer, I know. Um, and it is true that pure math as a discipline does not train students uh, for a specific career. Like we're not providing job training in this program. Um, on the other hand, it's also true that by taking pure math courses, these very challenging, highly abstract, um, very theoretical courses, you are being trained to do very high level abstract thinking and problem solving. And well, those are skills, obviously, that are being developed you know, in the program. They're skills that employers recognize. Pure math majors are known to be very strong students, very capable thinkers, and they're sought after by employers. So uh, pure math is not training you for a specific job. Um, it is training you to be a very accomplished, critical thinker and reasoner and problem solver. Um, I should add one thing though, and that is that many pure math majors are actually um, going on to do graduate work and uh, perhaps more than in other majors uh, at Waterloo. And so uh, a fair number of uh, pure math majors actually go on to become teachers or, or university professors. That's um, maybe one particular profession that I might note as, uh, as one particular place that pure math majors can go. And my last question for you today is, how is pure math different from mathematical finance? Ah, thanks for asking that question, Cynthia. Um, the mathematical finance plan is a plan that's jointly run by pure math and the actuarial science unit within the statistics and actuarial science department. Um, and so I'm glad to have this opportunity to uh, say something about math finance. Both the pure math and the math finance plans are uh, very challenging. They are, or we consider them to be elite programs. They are designed for our strongest students in the math faculty. They're very high level, so that they are similar in that way. Um, but while pure math is quite flexible, I mentioned that the pure math plan has only nine required courses, nine required pure math courses. Uh, the math finance plan is the opposite. Like there's this long list of required courses that you must take for that plan. It includes four of the high level peer math courses. It includes a number of um, high level actuarial science courses, some statistics courses, some AFM courses, some economics courses, um, some computational mathematics courses. So it's, uh, there, there, there are many more requirements for the math finance plan than there, than there are for the pure math plan. So that's maybe one big difference. Uh, and the two plans have different goals. The goal of the math finance plan is to prepare students for uh, graduate work in quantitative finance, uh, to do research at a very high level uh, in quantitative finance. Uh, that's what the math finance plan is, is designed to do, and that's what it delivers to students. Whereas the pure math plan is not so single-mindedly focused on one outcome. Uh, the pure math plan is both flexible and also broad in that it um, expects students to 
take courses in all of the areas of pure mathematics rather than in just one of those areas. So those are the, the differences that I see. Them. Thank you very much. This has been very helpful. You're very welcome. Nice to see you, Cynthia. Take care. Nice to see you too. Bye. Take care.